All right, IS 15 is here, friends. And on the first day of WWDC 2021, lots and lots uh, of features were spoken about. In this video, I'm going to tell you 10 top features which I think are really, really good. But in one line, if, if I have to talk about IS 15, I'll say one thing. IS 14 was all about looks, your home screen, widgets, look and feel. But this one is all about communication, productivity. Yes, lot of new features have been introduced around FaceTime, around messaging, around notifications. So it's basically communication and productivity. I'm going to tell you all about it. But before that, friends, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'll tell you what, uh, I used uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max till about a month back uh, for about six months or so. And one of the most irritating things about iOS seriously is no notifications yes it's cluttered and uh, you really never found out the right notification that you wanted on time everything just came in and it was right there you had to scroll and scroll and scroll and still you could not find the right notifications or the important notifications that you wanted but not with iOS 15. Now the notifications are going to be shown up according to your usage. What is important? Essentially, iOS will find out which of the notifications or which app notifications you use most commonly when a uh, notification arrives. If you click it immediately, that means it is important. And that's how it will prioritize and show you at the top. Even the icons uh, for notifications have been enlarged. Overall, the way notification shows up is much, much better than what it was previously. Yes, it is well organized. Also, uh, there is one nifty feature they have added where if you miss certain notification, you have not seen it in a single tile, it will tell you that you have got notifications from WhatsApp or whichever app notification you have received. So that again is a good thing. In just one snapshot, you will come to know about all the notifications that you have received. By the way, if you're liking this video, a sub would be appreciated. FaceTime gets a huge update. Seriously, earlier it was just one on one uh, video chatting tool, so to say, not anymore. It has become a video conferencing tool. Multiple people can talk about it, but while talking, you actually get spatial audio. That means if five people are talking and, and according to placement of windows or the users, you'll basically hear the noise. So it, it's kind of more interactive and more immersive, so to say. And to make it even more immersive, they have added portrait mode. Yes, you can uh, blur the background while on a FaceTime call. So that's very interesting again. And the biggest thing, uh, why now I think it is more of a video conferencing tool, you can not only share the links, you can actually schedule. You, you could not schedule a FaceTime call. Now you can schedule and share the link, not only with iPhone users, but Android users as well. Yes, and when they click it, it will open in a browser and then you can interact. So even Android users can use FaceTime now for video conference. And while watching WWDC 21, and especially while talking about this when they showed that Android phone, it was probably a eight year old Android phone with huge bezels and a big notch and all that. So that was interesting. They could have shown a modern Android phone. They did not do that. And yes, you can uh, share your screen. And not only that, while if you're watching a movie or listening to audio, you can actually share it with your FaceTime participants. So yes, five of you can get together and watch the same movie at the same time on FaceTime. Another new update that I really liked on iOS 15 uh, was in their iMessages, especially when you share some media like uh, multiple images. Earlier, it used to come one after the other. So you had to scroll vertically, not any now all the images, let's say there are 10 images that uh, a sender has shared with you. It will show you as a stacked image and you can just swipe. Yeah, it's that easy. You don't have to scroll, you just swipe and the new images will be shown up. I like that feature. And now they have added a focus mode and that's focus mode is not only for yourself, it, uh, to a certain extent, others also know that you are in a focus mode. Yes, that is basically do not disturb or DND. If someone is calling you or some, someone is sending you a message, the person will actually come to know that you are in DND mode. They will specifically ask you whether uh, you should send that message or not. But thankfully, if it is an important message, they can send it. But that warning, that alert will be given that uh, the person you are sending that message is in focus mode. He does not want to be disturbed. So yeah, I think that's also nice. Another new feature in iOS 15 is live text. It's uh, basically answer to Google Lens, which is there on Android. Uh, this is exactly the same. For example, there is a brochure, you take a picture and you uh, want to extract text out of it. You can very easily do it with live text. Google Lens has been around for last few years and it has come a long way. I think uh, live text is just started. 
and over the next few years, I think we'll see more features added. Apple Maps has also got uh, a big update. Uh, although it is still in works, uh, I think this is a big update. Why? Because now, if you ask for directions, if you are in one of those eight cities where it is enabled, you'll actually be able to see the directions in 3D. So a lot of times when there is a road and a bridge side by side, you tend to go on the road, but you had to go on the bridge. But with 3D directions, you will not have that issue. So yes, 3D directions and 3D maps has come to Apple Maps in iOS 15. iOS 15 weather uh, app has also been improved. Now you come to know air quality index, uh, wind speed. So, so a lot of new data has been added uh, which makes uh, your weather app even more richer as far as data goes. Apple Wallet has got an interesting feature. Uh, suppose you're traveling and you check into a hotel. When you check in, you generally get a physical key. Not anymore. With Apple Wallet, you can actually get the key inserted into Apple Wallet. So it will be a soft key with which you can open your room. So yeah, interesting feature added in Apple Wallets. So who is getting iOS 15? You know, that is one very, very strong point of Apple. Generally, even uh, the devices which are like five, six year old, they also get updates and and uh, it's not different in iOS 15's case as well. Even iPhone 6 and 6S are going to get. So this was launched in 2015, 16, I think. All the uh, iPhones after that will get iOS 15. Probably around August, September, this fall, basically, you will get iOS 15 update. And if you want to download and install the beta version, I'm giving you the link in the description below. Uh, by the way, if you like this video, a sub would be appreciated. That's about it in this video. Until next time, keep tracking and stay safe.